Welcome to this training video on the Show Me Toolbar. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. This video will show you how the Show Me Toolbar helps you create charts. The Show Me Toolbar makes it easy to see which charts are available and recommended for visualizing your data. It is located in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and can be moved, hidden, or revealed as needed. There are two ways you can use it. First, use it if you have a specific visualization in mind, but are not sure how to create it. Go to the Show Me toolbar and hover over the chart type you want. Instructions will appear at the bottom of the toolbar to help you build this chart. For instance, to build a pie chart, the Show Me toolbar instructs you to select at least one dimension and exactly one or two measures. The second and best way to use the Show Me toolbar is when you know which fields you want to analyze, but don't know which chart would work best for that. In this case, simply hold down the Command key on a Mac or the Control key on a PC while selecting your fields of interest. For instance, country name and CO2 in kilotons. The Show Me toolbar will then automatically show which chart types are available by saturating them with color. It will also recommend one specific chart type by displaying a red outline around that chart type. Here, a map. Clicking on it, we obtain a map where the size of the bubbles indicates the total amount of CO2 emitted by each country. We can make these bubbles bigger by clicking on size and moving the slider to the right. It would be interesting to have the CO2 emissions also coded to the color of the bubbles. We can do this easily by dragging that measure, CO2 per kilotons, onto the color shelf. Another click on color will let us change the transparency of the bubbles and change the color palette to red. In this view, we observe that the United States has emitted the biggest amount of CO2 over the last 60 or so years, followed by China. As our data set contains CO2 emissions by country since 1960, another interesting visualization would be to see the evolution over time. Displaying all the countries on a single view would probably be overwhelming. Instead, we could visualize it region by region. If we select region, year, and CO2 per capita, we're presented with several chart options. A line chart is usually the best way to visualize a time series, but feel free to explore other options, such as packed bubbles or an area chart. Note that by default, the measure CO2 per capita was aggregated as a sum. That means it's a sum of the CO2 per capita of all countries in the region. It would be more relevant to have it as an average CO2 per capita for the region. To do this, we click on the small arrow that appears on the right side of the CO2 per capita field and change it to average. Finally, to make it clearer which line represents which region, we can add region to the label shelf. And if we want the color of the label to match the color of a line, click Label and then Font and match mark color, that will make it happen. It becomes clear that North America is the region with the highest average CO2 per capita emissions with a recent downwards trend. And now we will let you explore all of the chart options available in the Show Me toolbar. Thank you for watching this Creating Charts training video. We invite you to continue with the Understand the Logic of Charts video.